If you're starting a side hustle and you haven't answered these questions yet, it might be best to stop and do this exercise first. Most side hustles are destined to fail because there is a misconception to view side hustles as this shiny object. It's an amazing escape plan from the nine to five or an additional income source that will help you build and live a better standard of life. What's more is that so many people are talking about it and encouraging you to start your own side hustle. That includes myself as well. But first you need a clear plan before you start the action and I don't think this is talked about enough. As someone who's been on the side hustle journey multiple times in the past, I can clearly see the difference between someone who goes into it with a clear plan and strategy versus someone who is kind of blindly diving into it. Now let's unpack the four questions you need to ask yourself to have a clarity on your plan. Number one is what type of business do you want to start? You can sell physical products, digital products, subscriptions, or services. The business models are very different and I think this question needs a lot of reflection in terms of how you want to structure your lifestyle, how you want your business to be and like what is it that you want to put into this business? How do you want it to look like? What is your dream life when you think of you know having this business that is very successful maybe in a few years what does that look like i think you need to spend some time to really reflect on this and decide what really fits into your personality expectations and lifestyle on a level of difficulty i'd probably say that service is the easiest one to start off with then i'd put digital products as number two number three would probably be subscriptions and four would be physical products because obviously there is a lot more uh, logistical details that need to be thought of before starting. And these difficulty levels are by no means the industry standard. These are what I think from my personal experiences, as well as reading through opinions and reviews of many online creators and entrepreneurs that I was able to find. Second question you need to be thinking of is what skills do you have and what skills are you going to be building this business off of? This is also where you think about your niche. Which subject will you focus on when you are building this business and brand? Is it something that you are currently an expert in that you are maybe already working in, you have experience in, or is it going to be something that you want to learn and you want to document the journey and build a business around something that you are learning? So this question is an extremely important one to unpack because it determines essentially what you are going to end up doing. Number three is who will you build this business for? Your audience is going to determine your messaging, your tone, your voice, where you do your research, where you do your social listening, how you speak, what channels you use. It is all connected. Once you determine your audience, your target persona, then you will know how to speak and what your messaging should be like. Is your audience going to be young professionals or people who want to learn how to sing better? Or is it going to be people who are uh, really tired and sick of their nine to five jobs and you want to teach them how to become entrepreneurs? Determining your audience is going to be everything and your business is meaningless without an audience in mind. And number four is how will you generate demand for this business? Because the reality is that people don't just come to really good products. They need to to know that your business exists and you need to be competing for their attention because there are so many options in the market. So are you going to be generating demand through creating content and building thought leadership on the area that you're building your business around? Or are you going to be using ads? Are you going to be doing collaborations? Are you going to be doing like direct outreach? Like what does generating demand look like for the service or the product that you will be creating for your business? And the last bit to this question is how will people meet and find your offers? What is your offer going to look like? And which tools and systems are you going to set up so that they're able to easily access the services slash products that you are offering? All right, now that you know how to think about starting a side hustle and the questions you need to absolutely answer before you begin, maybe it's time to get inspired or start thinking about side hustle ideas if you haven't started that already. Check out this video that I've made on five side hustle ideas to help you escape your nine to five or whatever you are doing right now. I think that video will get you off on a good start in terms of brainstorming and thinking about what are some of the top hot things that people are working on these days. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and career topics and work life topics. If you want to see more side hustle related content on this channel, please comment and let me know. I'd love to know to plan more content like this one because I really do enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.